Hey, what's up guys? This is John from Behind the Diamond. I haven't been on in a while, but uh, I just got back this 82 card Modern Order PSA. Um, I've been waiting for this, this order since July. Uh, I sent this order in, I think in June. Uh, it got, it, I think in June, it got logged in September 4th. So I got it a little bit of ahead, ahead of schedule, I guess, because uh, on the PSA website, it says August 19th for the complete through date. Um, so, well, I did get it a, a couple of weeks before they say, uh, but I've been waiting for these cards for about a year. Um, so I'm pretty excited. All right, I don't know the grades. I, uh, I submit through a, a buddy of mine, uh, and he did not tell me any of the grades. I took them out of the box and I just placed them right here. Uh, I just got them, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I hope I get a few tens. Uh, I'm hoping for tens and nines. Uh, eights will be okay for modern, uh, but I'm hoping for tens and nines. And if I do get a ten, I'm just gonna put it out and put it right on top of here and uh, be pretty happy about it. Uh, all right, let's start. Card number one. All right, a 1998 uh, Choice Michael Jordan preview card. Uh, so it's, this is a cool card. I mean, I thought it was in really good shape. The centering was good. Uh, let's see. Oh, it got an eight. Michael Jordan eight. Not all that bad, but that's our first eight. I hope it gets better than this. All right. Again, we have another Jordan. We have a metal Jordan, nuts and bolts. Uh, this, I have like maybe three or four sets. I took this right out of the set. Uh, this, I was hoping for a 10. Uh, let's see what it gets. Oh, a nine. That's not bad. For this, this is like $100 in a nine. All right. Nuts and bolts, Michael Jordan, metal again. Another nine. Wow. All right. It's not bad for Jordans. All right, next card is a John Stockton rookie. I was hoping to get a 10 on this. Uh, the centering was perfect. It was just a little from top to bottom. It was just a little bit off, but uh, you know, the corners, the surface was, was awesome on it. And I got a nine. All right, not bad. All right, a couple of nines. So we got three nines and one eight so far. That's not a bad card. All right, out of the same set, 1988 Fleer, I put in a uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. Again, this one was a little off-centered, but the corners were perfect. I'm hoping for a nine. You got an eight. not bad. So we've got two eights so far. Again, I put in all uh, the players that I liked uh, growing up. I mean, I, uh, I watched basketball a lot in the 80s and uh, early 90s. Uh, so I put in all the, all the, the, all the cards that were underappreciated for a while. Uh, but I've been waiting so long for them. I mean, I think they hit that peak and now they're back down a little bit. But I'm not worried. I mean, well, I'm not into these cards for that much money. I'm only into it for the grading. So, uh, so it, I'm still making money regardless. I put in a Topps uh, Tracy McGrady rookie. It was a little off-centered, but I, I thought I should put it in because uh, the corners, everything, everything else was mint. Back out of nine. All right, not bad. I got four nines out of six. I put another McGrady, the uh, Metal Universe. This set is an awesome set. Uh, I have two sets of this. I, I pulled this card out because it really, really looked good. Hoping for a 10, but these days, who knows? Okay, I got a 9. It's not bad for that card. It's about a $65, $75 card in a 9. 
All right, I put in a bunch of Ibis and Topps rookies. Um, I got these Topps rookies um, before the pandemic, uh, the show before the pandemic started in February. Uh, I bought these Ibis and rookies for thirty-three cents each. Uh, they weren't even they weren't even sleeved or uh, top loaded in in somebody's box at a show in Jersey. Uh, I was pretty amazed because I picked up 60 of them. I picked up 60 Iversons. I picked up 60 Vince Carter's, 60 Dirk Nowinski, um, 60 Tracy McGrady's, 40 Duncan's, and they were like three for a dollar. So I bought, I bought them all because I was a fan of them, and I, they at the time they were only a couple of bucks each, maybe four to you know four to fifteen bucks each. Uh, so I really. I really hit it big for that, you know, with, with that, with that, uh, sale. Um, okay, so I put in 13 Ibis and Topps rookies, hoping to get 10s. The first one. Got an 8. Okay, that's my first 8 with the Iverson. Up, oh, this one got a nine. I know these are up like 150 bucks right now. I mean, they were about 450 uh, during the hype. Uh, I know tens were like 1200, and they came back down. Uh, but they're still between 100 and 150 bucks in a PSA nine. So I'm happy with the nine. Up oh, another nine. Hoping to get a 10. So I got two nines and an eight. Okay, two eights, two nines. Three eights, two nines. Okay, got another nine. So it's three and three. Another eight. Hoping for that ten. So I got four eights and three nines. Five eights and three nines. Okay, let's finish strong. We got another nine. So five and four. Nine. Not bad. It's five and five. Nine, six and five, another nine, seven and five, okay, hopefully this one's a ten, and another nine. All right, so I got eight, I believe eight nines out of the thirteen and five eights, not that bad. I mean, $9.50 to grade, 33 cents per card. I mean, I'm into these cards for what, $10? So, not bad, not bad at all. All right, I got three more stacks here. And I did not hit a 10 yet. Got a lot of nines, but did not hit a 10. All right, I, this is a Tony Gwynn Topps rookie. Uh, I pulled it out of my set. It looked it looked phenomenal. Uh, hoping for a ten. I mean, this card there was no no creases. The corners were awesome. Centering was perfect, and it's a nine. It's not it's not a bad card. I mean, it's a two hundred dollar card. I mean, I've had this set since nineteen eighty three, so so it's not that bad. All right. I believe Carmelo Anthony stuff is going to start to go up. Um, so I put in, I only put in this card because I, it, looked, it looked pretty good. Uh, it's his uh, Bowman rookie. Hoping for a 10. I doubt it. There's another 9. It's not bad in a 9. This is probably like maybe an $80 card in a 9. All right, I put in an Anthony Hardaway gold insert out of SPX. 
1996 S SPX. Gold, I mean, they, they kind of messed it up a little bit. Look at that. They didn't even put it straight in the holder. All right, I was hoping for a 10 because I didn't see anything wrong with this card. And again, it's a 9. It's a cool card, though. It's gold. I mean, back in the day when I used to open up these boxes, I mean, it was so hard to get a gold. A gold version of this. All right, I put in a Dwayne Wade uh, gold rookie out of Bowman. Uh, hoping, hoping to get at least a 9 on this. Let's check it out. It was a little off-centered, but it's the gold version. You don't see this card every day. Got an 8. All right. The ratio is really not that bad. I think I only got seven eights. And I got 14 nines so far. Really not that bad so far. No tens though. All right, I have like maybe 25 of these sets. And I, this is the only card out of each one I thought would, would grade it at least a 10. Uh, this is a uh, 1990 uh, Major League debut, Ken Griffey. Okay, hoping to get a 10. And there's another 9. Not one 10 yet. All right. Dan Marino Atomic Refractor. This card would just look cool. I would think this just looks nice in a slab. Uh, I could probably sell it a lot faster in a slab. Uh, hopefully it gets either a 9 or a 10. And it got a 9. It's not bad. It's a nice card. Okay, Randy Johnson. Hall of Fame pitcher, uh, over 300 wins. Uh, this is his tops traded. Okay, I pulled it. I, I again, I have like maybe 30 of these sets. I pulled some of the uh, uh, the Griffies and the Randy Johnsons and the Viscells and stuff like that. So uh, that got a 10. Nice. My first 10, Randy Johnson. Okay, it's not bad. It's like an $80 to $100 card. I'll put it right there. Put in another Randy Johnson, an 89 score rookie. Uh, I just think Randy Johnson stuff is just underappreciated. I think he should be worth a lot more. Uh, he was a crazy pitcher. One of the best left-handed pitchers of all times. And that got an 8. Ouch, that's not good. Okay, we're back to basketball. Kevin Garnett. Metal. I pulled this right out of a pack. I have maybe... I should have opened up all the packs, but I have at least 20 packs in my storage uh, unopened. Uh, I went to my storage. I, I, I only wanted to open up a couple. And I pulled this. I put it right in the sleeve, right into a top loader. Uh, hoping to get a 10. I mean, it was it's right out of a pack. And that got a 9. Oh. Right, Kevin Durant. This this rookie has gone up. This version, a 1957-58 variation. Uh, again, hoping for a nine or a ten. An eight really would not be. I mean, I pulled this right out of my set. Uh, an eight wouldn't be that good on this. And I got a nine. Not bad. It goes for over over 200 bucks in a 9. Alright, I put in uh, a couple of Shaquille O'Neal's. This is a uh, refractor out of 2005-2006. Uh, Finest. Just a cool card. I thought it was going to be a, a nice... I mean, I checked this card over. Got an 8.5. Alright, not bad. I mean... So we got a couple of eights. We got nine eights and one 8.5. And it looks like we have about 12 nines. 
a little bit more than 12, I think. Up 20. 29s, 9.8s, and 1.8.5. Alright, I'm glad I put this in. This is a uh, Chris Paul Finest Refractor Rookie out of 199. He's plays hot right now. This is going to be up on eBay. Uh, DM me or uh, follow me on Instagram at Behind the Diamond. Uh, and if you're interested in this, uh, I'm willing to sell it. It's a cool card. It's like a little bit of like an X-Fractor. Uh, this is just like... This card back in, in 2005 was an awesome set. I was pulling Chris Paul's like crazy. This is the only one that I kept probably from 2005. Uh, so, let's see. Got a 9. So I only got one 10 so far. But a 9 is really not that bad for this card. So if anybody's interested, just DM me. Message me. Alright, let's go to another pile. Oh. A 1998 Bowman Chrome Adrian Beltre. I just put this in because I thought it was going to get a 10. I have this set. Uh, I put in a David Ortiz and the Beltre. And I got a 9. Alright, let's see what the David Ortiz got. Alright, this is like a $200 card and a 10. Maybe a $65, a $65 card and a 9. Well, there you go. There's a 10. So we got two 10s. Two 10s so far. Alright, let's go to another pile. Alright, this one, I didn't know this was that bad. Uh, I put in an Allen Iverson... Uh, I believe the 2003 Bowman Gold, but a lot of chipping. I, I didn't even realize that. I don't know what I was doing when I put this in. So I wouldn't be surprised if this card gets like a 6. It's a 2003 Rookies and Stars. It's a gold version. Ah, got an 8. Not bad. I mean, it's a lot worse than what... Let's go on eight. Put that with the eight pile. All right, I put in a uh, Kobe 1997 Flash Showcase Row Two. This is his second year. Again, hoping to get either a nine or a ten. I doubt I'm going to get a ten on this. And that got an eight. Any Kobe's right now slab is 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 pretty good. It's sellable. I can do a show and sell this card. All right, back to Randy Johnson. Uh, Randy Johnson up a deck rookies. Another card that's very underappreciated. You can probably pick this up for about three to five dollars. Uh, I have a couple of these sets, so I pulled them out. They looked really good, hoping to get at least one ten, and that got a nine. Another Randy Johnson, up a deck, and that got a nine. I'm not really too sure why, but I mean that the corners are in mint condition, the centering is nice. Well, all right, I got one more. Hoping for a ten, and another nine. A lot of nines, which is which is not that bad. I mean, I, I was hoping for nines and tens. So, it's another nine for the pile. All right, this is a 2012-13 uh, Prism. Just the base, Russell Westbrook. Uh, these are very hard to grade. Uh, I thought this looked really good for, a, for at least a ten. And that got a nine. My nine stack is uh, piling up. All right, a LeBron James second year tops. Uh, I bought I bought this card. Well, I got this card in like a trade. Uh, again, I'm not really into these cards for that much. I've had some of these cards for years. This is the only card that I 
that I recently picked up and I got this in a trade and a little bit of cash. I think I spent about 40 bucks on it. Uh, looked really good. Centering looked okay. Corners looked good. I just wanted to get it slabbed, hoping to either get a 9 or a 10. And I got a 9. Nice. It's about 300 bucks and a 9. Not bad. I mean, I'm into it for 10 bucks to grade, so I'm into it for what, like almost like 50 bucks. This is one of the, the big cards that I that I put in. Uh, I have this whole set, uh, and it's the 2005 uh, Bowman Draft Picks and Prospects, the Chrome, LeBron James. This is a nice, nice picture of him too. Uh, in a 10, this goes for at least five or six hundred bucks. I'm hoping for a nine or a 10. I mean, I've had this card since 2005, sleeved inside a uh, a one row with with the rest of the set. Uh, so I pulled it, hoping, hoping to get a 10. Wow, nice. I got a 10. So this is between five or six hundred bucks. I mean, I'm only into these 80, 82 card submission. I'm only into it for like a, like seven hundred and sixty five dollars. So this card alone is I'm almost getting my money back. Nice. Put that there. So I got three tens. Am I right? I put in a uh, Walker Bueller, Chrome, that got a 9, wow, a lot of 9's, which is, which is good. Walker Bueller, 10, it's not bad, it goes for about 150 bucks in a 10, nice, so I got 4 10's. Not bad. All right, 1998 SP Authentic First Class Jason Williams Die Cut Rookie. Uh, I, I love Jason Williams, man. I used to I used to love to watch him play. Uh, I have a lot of his graded stuff. Uh, this one I picked up in 1998. Got a nine. All right. All right, Tim Duncan tops. Out of the forty that I that that I picked up at that show, I told you guys, uh, in, before the pandemic in February, um, I, I should have put in a lot more. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but this one I knew was a sure was a sure thing. I mean, either a nine or a ten. I mean, it looked it looked pristine. I I, I looked it over three or four times, hoping to get a ten on this. Nice. All right, five tens, not bad. So I'll take Randy Johnson down. Put Tim Duncan up. All right, Tim Duncan, another rookie, a Skybox a Z Force. I had this card since 1997, and that got a nine. Not bad for, for Duncan rookies, nines or tens. I'll take that all day. Kevin Garnett, again, I picked this up for 33 cents, 950 for a grading. I'm into it for $10. And that got an eight. Wow, hoping for a nine on that. But that got an eight. All right, Sean Kemp. This was the Metal Universe, the Rebox Bronze insert. A ten is big money on this. This is like a a four hundred dollar card in a ten, hoping to get a ten, and I got a nine. Not bad. Still, it's still it's a low pop, seventy five dollars probably. I put in the uh, Island Iverson Metal Universe Rebox Bronze. 
and I got an eight. Mm. All right. Okay. A Shaq, Metal Universe, 1997. And I got a nine. That's nice. I love these Metal Universes back in the day. This was awesome. Put in the Scotty Pippen. It's cool. I'm Duncan. I got an 8.5. That's my second 8.5. Not bad, man. Not bad. We got a lot, a lot of nines, a couple of tens, 8.5s. Not, not bad. I haven't gotten a, a, a crazy grade yet. All right, Clyde Drexler, Metal Universe. I used to, I used to love uh, watching Clyde play. I mean, he was, he was great, especially on the open court. He was one of my favorite players. Hoping to get either a 9 or a 10. Wow. Wow. 6. Okay. That's my first really bad grade. I got a 6. I wonder why. Corners were nice. I don't see any issues on it. But I guess there's got to be. Alright. So that's my first 6. All right, Kevin Garnett. This is a Bowman's Best uh, Best Shots Atomic Refractor. Okay, Kevin Garnett, and that got an eight. Uh, I was hoping for either a nine or a ten on this, but it is a, it's a cool card. It, it's a low pop too on this, even in an eight. All right. Not too sure why I put a Brady Anderson in, but they were going high when I submitted this. I mean, in a 10, I think they were going like 250, 300 bucks. So I was hoping to get a 10. Now I think it's probably worthless. Uh, 1989 Fleer, Brady Anderson. He had a couple of big years, 50 home run years and stuff like that. And I got a nine. Still tough to get a nine out of the 89 Fleers. All right, 1989 Dunross, Gary Sheffield, rated rookie. Again, this is really, really tough. This black, the chipping on these uh, 1989 Dunross. I mean, to get a 10 on this, it's it's really tough. Wow, that's a 10. Nice. All right, let's move the David Ortiz. Let's put the Gary Sheffield up. So I got six 10s. Not bad, not bad. Hope, hopefully there's some more in here. Ken Griffey Jr., 1989 Tops Traded. That's an 8. Eighty nine Tops Traded. Griffey, I put in a couple of these. I think maybe 4 or 5. That got an 8. Okay. Pretty bad. Hoping for... Uh, Hoping for 10s and 9s, at least. Two 8s. And there's another 8. It is Griffey, though, so... It is a sellable card. Probably, what, 30 bucks, Maybe 25 30 bucks on this now. Instead of selling it for 5 bucks. Alright. 1990 Frank Thomas rookie. Name on front. That got a 9. Nice. Again, guys, if you uh, are interested in any of these cards, everything is for sale. So uh, DM me, message me, uh, give me a couple of likes on this video. Uh, I'll really appreciate it. I have a lot of cards, a lot of videos uh, ahead. Uh, I'm doing a lot of shows. I set up at shows in New York, uh, Long Island, and Queens. Um, I also travel. So uh, just you know, give me a couple of likes, subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated, and you'll see a lot of my collection. I have a lot of stuff. Sammy Sosa, 1990 Leaf rookie. 
Wow, I got a seven. Okay, so the Drexler and the Sammy Sosa, a six and a seven. Those are pretty bad grades. Everything else is okay right now. Okay, Deion Sanders, tops traded. I love Deion, man. He was he was phenomenal. B baseball, football, football man especially. That got a nine. Okay. My nine stack is pretty pretty high here. Look at that. A lot of nines, which is pretty good for modern. Okay, 1977 tops, Dave Winfield. It looked really good. The centering looked good. Uh, it was maybe a little bit of the, some corner issues. Uh, hoping to get either an 8 or a 9. Wow, okay, there's a 7. Okay, two sevens so far. Not bad, not bad. Okay, 1989 Flair, Randy Johnson. I put a lot of Randy Johnsons in because I think he's, you know... He's a Hall of Famer, right? He's, he's going to go up. Oh, stay steady. Knack out of nine. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. All right, look at this, guys. It says here, a Walker Bueller chrome refractor, and it's Will Smith. Look at that. So PSA messed up once again. It took me a year to get these cards back and they can't even get it right. Wow. Now this card I'm going to have to either crack out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So Walker Bueller, Chrome Refractor, and it's a Will Smith. And it got a 9. Alright, I don't know what to do with that card, but that's a 9. These cards were going sky high, and this this one, 1987 Dunross, was really tough. The black border, a lot of chipping in the back. That got a that got a nine. Not bad. I mean, a lot of nines, which is which which I wanted. Omar Vizquel, one of the best shortstops that uh, that ever played, with the glove, especially. That got a nine. Dennis Rodman. These are tough because this is like an acetate. Uh, I've had these since probably 1996, 97 uh, in a plastic. Uh, just got moved from box to box. That got an 8. Along with that Kevin Garnett. So both of those got 8s. Alright, Dennis Rodman. Metal. Metalized. I mean, this is just a cool, cool card. I just wanted to submit it, hoping to get either a 9 or a 10. I got a 9. All right. So I only got six 10s, which is not that bad. And I have a whole stack of 9s, a little stack of 8s, and a couple of bad grades. All right, a Shaq. This is a draft redemption. This could be a big card if I get a nine or a ten on this. This could be really a big card. This is this is a low pop. So let's see. Oh, seven. That's not good. Okay. All right, winding down. I got a Jordan Jam Master. Nineteen ninety seven UD three. That got an 8. Anything Jordan's going to sell. But, I mean, you, you want the 8s, the 9s, and the 10s. Mainly 9s and 10s, but the, the, the 8s aren't that bad. 97 tops, Jordan. That got a 9. Okay. Nineteen ninety six Skybox Premium Nine. Okay. Not bad, not bad. 
1999 uh, UD Retro. I just like this this card. It's, it's pretty cool. That got an 8. Alright. I think my last Jordan. This is a beautiful card. 1998 Topps Gold Label. It's just an awesome card. Hoping to get a 10 on it. Got a 9. Alright. Just a nice card. Alright, Gary Sheffield, uh, Fleer EX, Essentials. This is this is number to 90. So this is a low pop. I, I don't I I think it's like a pop one on this. Ten. Nice. Nice, put the 10 there. Put those 10s right there. So I got seven 10s. Not bad. All right, 1990 Topps Tiffany. Edgar Martinez rookie. That got an eight. Sammy Sosa, Topps Tiffany rookie. That got a nine. Not bad. It's like an $80 card and a 9. Hoping for a 10. I mean, it's like a $300 card and a 10. Now, some more Griffies. 89 Dunros. That's a big card if it's a 10. 9. Okay. 1989 Dunros Rookies. Griffey. That got a 9. Nineteen eighty nine Fleer Griffey. Ah, six. Okay. That's not so good. Alright, last card is another traded Griffey. Nineteen eighty nine tops. We got three eights so far on that. And there's another eight. Okay. Not bad guys. I mean it eighty two cards. I got seven tens. I got a bunch of nines. So the piles don't look that bad. Eight. So we got a whole bunch of nines. We got some eights. We got some eight. We got two eight point fives. And we have a bunch of bad. We have five bad grades. Sixes and sevens. Really not that bad out of 82 cards, modern, and I know PSA is, is really cracking down on how they're grading. Uh, so I am pretty happy with this. Uh, I'm into the grading for $760, uh, $770, uh, and I'm probably only into the cards for maybe, maybe 200 bucks. Uh, I've had a lot of these cards and when they first came out and just it's been sitting in my boxes so, I mean, you put this card and this card together, and I get back my money. Everything else, everything else is profit. And that's what we're, that's what we're here to do, is to make a little bit of a profit, have fun, collect cards, watch these, watch these players that you love growing up, uh, and just, and have fun with it, make a little bit of money. Uh, and that's, that's that. All right, guys, just, uh, DM me, give me a couple of likes, much appreciated. I'll make more and more videos. Uh, follow me on Instagram, behind the diamond on Instagram. Uh, like my photos. All right. All right. Peace. Thanks. Bye-bye.